God is always by your side, even when you do not know it. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for the lives of these listeners. Cause each and every one of them to be edified by your word, which they are about to hear. Lord, let their eyes of understanding be open to see and understand that you are not far from them. Cause them to gain insight and understanding into the mysteries and powers of your word. Lord, they are about to hear your word, open the heavens above them. The light that will dispel all darkness in their lives will be released on them through the word. In the name of Jesus. In Psalms 107, verse 20, your word says, that he sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Therefore, dear Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your words, as they come now, heal, deliver, liberate, and set everyone at liberty. Everyone who is listening to my voice today, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be freed and liberated from the chains and bondages of ignorance and every satanic orchestrated limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let whatever might have been responsible for their limitations, be broken and destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let every force or negative energy pulling them down, be routed in total defeat. Let the limitations of fear, lack of faith, disobedience, personal weaknesses, or whatever is pulling them down be routed and terminated. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let your word, which is coming now, come with healing, enlightenment, blessings, and the breaking of yokes in the life of every listener, resulting in their transformation and an instant positive change of levels financially, spiritually, materially, and likewise. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Amen. The Word of God, as we prepare to pray. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 8. And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you, He will not leave you nor forsake you, do not fear nor be dismayed. Many times we tend to get discouraged or lose hope due to what we see, what we hear, or what our feelings are suggesting to us. At other times, you feel like you are alone, like everyone has left you, or like nobody is on your side. Sometimes you even feel so hopeless and see the world as hollow, vain, and meaningless. Sometimes you even get depressed, and at other times you feel listless about life and living. And in extreme cases, you may even feel suicidal because you feel that God seems distant or cares nothing about you. But those are not the facts about God. But are largely the figment of our feelings and imaginations. In all that, God is available, watching and waiting for you to recognize Him and call upon Him. The Bible says in Psalms 46, verse 1, that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. But you have got to know this and call upon Him. You see, most of the time, feelings do not always correspond to reality. So what you feel may not be what you are going to get or what is there for you in reality. That is why the scriptures enjoin us that we are not to live or judge by what our eyes can see, and by extension, what our feelings are telling us. But instead by what the Word of God says and the promises of God. You are instead to live, assess things, and expect things the way the Word of God decrees or declares them. Because the Word of God as we know it works according to our faith and belief. Hence the Word God says in Luke, chapter 1, verse 45. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. It means that it takes your faith and your belief in the Word of God to see your expectations come true. Any word of God you do not believe is not going to work for you. This is why expectation is the mother of manifestation. So you have got to assess things, make preparations, forecast the future, and project it with faith in the word and the unfailing promises of God. And not always by the physical appearance of things. Because appearances are frequently deceptive and can lead to deception. And that's why you don't have to depend on it. Instead, the Bible showed us who and what we could rely on. And that is the word of God and his unfailing promises. The Bible encourages us to have and walk by faith, which is more reliable and worthy of trust. Because God is involved, his integrity, faithfulness, and reliability cannot be faulted or controverted. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians, chapter 5 verse 7, 
about believers in God and our Lord Jesus Christ, for we walk by faith, not by sight. And in Habakkuk 2 verse 4, the Bible says, Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith, not by his neighbor's faith, not by his prophet's faith, not by his parents' faith. What the Bible is telling you here is that you are directly responsible for your outcome because of what you believe. If you believe that God is with you, you will always see God's hand at work in every aspect of your life. But if you believe otherwise, you will always feel and see emptiness from every side, even when God is always real and all around you. But you have got to believe to see Him. You must believe His assurances that He will always be with you. Isaiah 43, verse 2, told us that, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. And again, even more reassuringly, in Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20, the Bible says, Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. What an assurance. God's constant presence with us to do us good. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you because you are always on the side of your people. Like the Lord says before praying Lazarus out of death, in John 11, verse 42. He says, And I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Dear Father Lord, even so I say, for I believe and I am confident that you will answer as I pray for these brethren of mine and your children, who believe and hope in you for their healing, deliverance, supply, and blessings. Dear Father Lord, because many of them, due to circumstances, challenges, unmet needs, and expectations, are feeling like you are far away from them, that you care nothing about them, that you do not love them, or that you are incapable of helping them, for the reasons of their sicknesses, loneliness, lack of love, abandonment, rejections, lack of wants, failed expectations, the burden of sin and guilt, seemingly hopelessness, and other deprivations. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you show yourself strong and mighty in their lives and situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, show yourself to them so that they know you love and care for them. Do this, dear Lord, by supplying all their needs. In accordance with your word in Philippians, chapter 4, verse 19, which says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Therefore, dear Lord, I pray to you to supply their love needs, financial needs, spiritual needs, material needs, career needs, marital needs, relationship needs, and all what they need for their lives to function perfectly. In the name of Jesus Christ, for your word says in Psalms 138, verse 8, that, the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Therefore Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, perfect that which concerns every listener under my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, supply them also, in abundance, with peace, harmony, and love in their homes, marriages, and relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dearest Heavenly Father, for hearing and answering me. I pray in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen.